From the post-millennial, Hunter Biden pleads guilty to three felonies, other charges in tax evasion case. Biden's lawyers first attempted to enter an Alfred plea, which would have seen Hunter Biden plead guilty but maintain his innocence. His attorneys later agreed to a standard guilty plea after an exchange with prosecutors. According to the Daily Mail, Judge Mark Scarcey told the president's son that he could face a sentence of up to, up to 15 years in prison and a $1 million fine once convicted of the three felony and six misdemeanor counts. In entering a guilty plea, Ab Lowell said his client did not want to cause more difficulty for the family. Your Honor has basically indicated that there's a need to address the public interest, but Mr. Biden also has to address the private interest. This has been a difficult time for him and his family. Enough is enough. They attempted the Alfred plea, which we, we read in the subhead. Special counsel David Weiss alleged in the indictment that Biden engaged in a four year scheme to not pay at least one point four million dollars in self-assessed federal taxes he owed for tax years 16 through 19 or uh, from in or about January 17th through uh, about October 15th, 2020, and to evade the assessment of taxes for tax year 2018 when he filed false returns, blah, blah, blah. Very, very interesting. Libertarians are probably uh, screaming in defense of Hunter Biden because he's been charged on gun rights and taxes. And of course, libertarians are, are very much on the other side of these things. But Libby, you had a good point as to why he took this plea deal and why it's going down. So uh, what up? Yeah. So I was kind of thinking that maybe he took the plea deal now and got the conviction out of his out of the way so that there's still time for his father to pardon him before he's officially out of office. But Corinne Jean-Pierre came out today and said, no, Joe Biden's sticking with what he said in Delaware. He's not going to pardon him. It is interesting because you would think and I heard a couple other analysts talking about this today, you know, it's his only surviving son. He doesn't have a political career after this. So why wouldn't P President Biden just go? Yeah, ahead and, and like it wouldn't be the first time that the White House has gotten Joe Biden's motives and plans wrong. I mean, the White House told us repeatedly for months and months and months mm -hmm. that Joe Biden was going to stay in the race, that he wasn't going anywhere, that he was definitely planning on, you know, continuing his run for presidency. And that was all upended by Joe Biden one Sunday afternoon, who just casually said that he wasn't going to do it. So, you know, I think there's every reasonable expectation to believe that Joe Biden would pardon his son. And, you know, this may be a hot take or whatever, but I think um, I think that's probably what, <laughs> that's what I would do. He's going to do I, it. I would I would do it. Yeah, you know. I think he's going to do it. I think the Alfred plea play was actually the most interesting part because mm -hmm. that is an acknowledgement that there is enough evidence against you that you will be convicted. And the prosecutors were resistant to this. They were saying, like, he he committed crimes. You shouldn't let him get away with this plea. And uh, there was resistance. And ultimately, he had to just plea guilty. Do you guys remember that sweet plea deal he had for a while? Or was like, you can't charge him with anything else. They had rolled this the tax evasion and the gun charges together. Yeah. And now he's pleading guilty without any agreement on the table. He's facing 17 years in prison. I don't why, think get that. But why are they charging? Why was he charged? Why was he charged? He was yeah, why was he charged? You mean like, why did they finally get around to charging him after the IRS agents for years were like, hey, maybe there's something going on here? Yeah. I think they did it so that it was like almost to run cover for all of their other charges so that they could say, like, see, we're not charging Trump politically. We're also charging Hunter Biden, you know, Wait, and I which, think that's a big part of it. And also, I think that Hunter Biden was the... Um, you know, was the guy who was determined to get thrown under the bus. Like he was the one who was, you know, set up by the family. Somebody had to take the fall and it may as well have been the guy who was already looking pretty bad in the public eye. Yeah. I think he's being thrown under the bus in part to protect his father.